Minecraft spawner cages. Just by looking at them, you know what they do. They spawn mobs. If you're able to acquire mob spawn eggs, you can actually control what mobs will spawn from the cage by right clicking on it with the egg. However, within survival Minecraft, there only exist seven spawner cages that are supposed to naturally generate. Zombie and skeleton spawners, which are unique to classic dungeons, spider spawners, which appear in classic dungeons and within woodland mansions, cave spider spawners, which are unique to mine shafts, blaze spawners, unique to nether fortresses, magma cube spawners, unique to bastion remnants, and silverfish spawners, unique to the end portal room. And while these are the only spawners that are supposed to naturally generate, it is actually possible within survival Minecraft to find pig spawners. This method doesn't require any user intervention of any kind, and it doesn't occur by any means of giving yourself the block. This occurs naturally. Not only that, but when you find a pig spawner with this exact method, you'll actually find five of them. Yeah. So what's going on here? Well, let's go ahead and let's check it out. Today's video is brought to you by Gamersups. Now, I gotta be honest, when Gamersups approached me for the sponsorship, I was skeptical. I'd tried other energy supplements in the past and not really enjoyed them. So when I asked Gamersups to send me some samples to see what I would like, they sent me literally every single flavor to try. While there are a few that I don't care for, most of them I really do enjoy. My daily driver is the Dragon Fruit Punch flavor, and I really enjoy Blue Raz, Mango, Misfits Melon, and Strawberry Burst. The first 1,000 people to use my code in the description down below will get a free sample pack, limited to one person per address, and as well, get 10% off any purchase as well. Just be careful when you first use it, because it's really, really effective. In order to fully explain what's going on, I need to give you a very brief crash course on how things generate within Minecraft. Keep in mind, this is pretty simplified, and I do have a more in-detailed video that I'll have on the top right of the screen. So, when Minecraft worlds generate, First, the stone noise map generates alongside the biome map for that world seed to create the surface of the world itself in a stone layer. And then, the grass layer followed by the structure of cave systems generate. And then, Minecraft's many decorator algorithms generate things like trees, flowers, ores, dungeons, desert pyramids, villages, etc. Lumped into this process lies the glitch that allows for the quintuple pig spawner to generate. So now, let's go over that process. The first clue that you may have noticed for why this glitch occurs lies within the spawner cages themselves. Not the actual cage blocks, but the chest that lies underneath. This glitch is the product of two separate elements of world generation colliding together. Badlands biome mine shafts and buried treasure. Yes, the same buried treasure that you find via treasure maps. Whenever buried treasure generates within Minecraft, and once the chest's location within the world is chosen, the game ensures that that chest is properly buried by first checking what block the buried treasure just overwrote, and then it covers itself in that block on five sides. But it'll only replace the surrounding air blocks to ensure that the chest is, in fact, buried. What that means is, in order for a quintuple pig spawner to generate at all, every single block surrounding the original spawner cage had to be air to begin with. That's where this phenomenon goes from exceptionally rare to astronomically rare. So, the reason why the quintuple pig spawner cage generates is the buried treasure chest spawns in the exact same block location as a Badlands biome mineshaft poison spider spawner. You might think that the chest should be surrounded by other poison spider spawners, but when the code runs that buries the chest in the block that it just replaced, it does not preserve the block ID data for the block that it just overwrote and whenever a spawner cage generates without any additional block data, it will appear as a pig spawner. Now, 
The fact that there are pig spawners here isn't the only weird artifact of this glitch. The other is the fact that the chest within these spawner cages does not work at all. If you place another chest next to it facing in the same direction, it will appear as a double chest, but when you open the double chest, you'll only see a single chest worth of inventory space. My guess is that the block data for the spawner cage was preserved within the chest. While the spawner cage block data is valid for a spawner cage, it's not valid for the chest, rendering it useless. Now, you might think that's the end of the video, but it's actually not. This glitch is not the only instance of one block overriding another during the world generation process and having some funky effects. Six months ago, Game Rotator on Reddit discovered a very similar glitch. Instead of a chest overriding a spawner cage, as what happens with the quintuple pig spawner glitch, this time the opposite effect occurs and a spawner cage overwrites a dungeon chest that has loot in it. In this case, however, the spawner cage actually actually does contain the valid block information that the chest it overwrote would have had. Which means, while you cannot right click on the spawner cage to take out the items, you can actually drop a hopper underneath this spawner cage to obtain the items that would have been in the chest that the spawner cage overwrote. Yes, you can loot items from a spawner cage in vanilla survival Minecraft 1.16. Not only that, but because of the block information that the spawner cage has, this pig spawner cage actually doesn't spawn pigs at all. Crazy. So there it is. If you want to see the quintuple pig spawner glitch for yourself, I've linked a video by Andrew in the description down below where he provides not only the code that he put together with the use of other community libraries in order to find these, but I've also linked a compiled version put together by Neil so that you can run this program for yourself for your own world seeds to see if your world even has a quintuple pig spawner at all. And as well, Andrew provided an enormous list of world seeds and locations for Minecraft 1.16 where you can check out this glitch for yourself. So that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Somewhere around 80% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so it would really help out a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.